fraction. A fraction is a part of a whole number. Friends, let's understand fractions with one activity. I have one chocolate as a whole. I have broken it into two parts. Each part represents one by two. Friends, let's understand fractions with some pictures. These are the pictures. Should we do it? Yes. Let us solve it now. So, how many are this? So, let us count how many are there. One, two, three, four. So, the denominator will be four. And how many are shaded? One, two. Oh, so the numerator will be two. So, the answer is two by four. Friends, let's do the second example. So, how many parts is a square divided into? One, two, three, four, five. So, the denominator is five. So, what will be the numerator? Friends, can you tell me? One. So, the answer is one by five. Look at the fraction 3 fourths. The number above the line is the numerator. It indicates the number of equal parts considered. The line is called fraction bar or division bar. The number below the fraction bar is called a denominator. It indicates the total number of equal parts the whole number is divided into. Unit fraction. A fraction which has 1 as the numerator is a unit fraction. For example, 1 upon 3, 1 upon 7 and 1 upon 13. Like fractions. Fraction with the same denominators are called like fractions. For example, 1 upon 4, 3 upon 4. Unlike fractions. Fraction with different denominators are called unlike fractions. For example, 5 upon 8, 5 upon 3 and 2 upon 7. Types of fractions. Proper fractions. A fraction in which the numerator is less than denominator is called a proper fraction. For example, 2 is less than 8. Thus, we say that 2 and 8 is a proper fraction. Improper fractions. A fraction in which the numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator is called an improper fraction. For example, 5 is greater than 2. Thus, we say that 5 upon 2 is an improper fraction. 4 is equal to 4. Thus, we say that 4 fourth is an improper fraction. Mixed fractions. A mixed number is the sum of a natural number and a proper fraction. For example, 2 and a half. 2 and a half represents the mixed number. Let's see how four equal parts of a whole are represented on a number line. Here, zero to one fourth is one part of a whole. One fourth to two fourth is the second part of a whole. Two fourth to three fourth is the third part of a whole. Three fourth to four fourth is the fourth and last part of a whole. Here, four fourth is equal to one. Friends, let's solve the first example. It is 3 by 4. But 4 is the denominator. So, here are 4. So, let us start writing. 1 by 4. 2 by 4. 3 by 4. 4 by 4. So, where is the answer? Here. Friends, let us do the next example. It is 2 by 6. So, 6 is the denominator. So, 6 are here. Let us start writing. 1 by 6. 2 by 6. 3 by 6. 4 by 6. 5 by 6. 6 by 6. So, where is the answer? It is hidden, right? So, where is it? Here, right? So, the answer is 2 by 6 right here. Friends, let's do the third example. It is 5 by 10. So, we have to divide the number line into 10 equal parts. Let us start writing. 1 by 10. 2 by 10. 3 by 10, 4 by 10, 5 by 10, 
6 by 10, 7 by 10, 8 by 10, 9 by 10, 10 by 10. So, what is the answer? It is hidden, right guys? Let us see. Oh, the answer is here. Friends, let's solve fractions greater than, lesser than, or equal to examples. So, let us see the example. 2 by 8, 1 by 4. So, we have to make the denominators equal. So, what do we do? Here is 1 by 4. So, we have to multiply 4 multiplied by 2 is equal to 8. So, again, we have to multiply 1 multiplied by 2 is equal to 2. So, 2 by 8. So, it is equal. Friends, let us do the second example. It is 1 by 2, 1 by 4. So, we need to make the denominators equal. So, here is 1 by 2. So, we have to multiply. 2 multiplied by 2 is equal to 4. And so, we have to multiply. 1 multiplied by 2 is equal to 2. So, it is 2 by 4. So, this is greater. Friends, let us solve the third example. It is 1 by 3, 1 by 2. So, what do we do? 1 by 3. So, we need to multiply 3 multiplied by 2 and 1 multiplied by 2 is equal to. So, what is 3 multiplied by 2 is equal to 6. And 1 multiplied by 2 is equal to 2. So, we write 2 here. And next is 1 by 2. So, now we need to multiply 2 multiplied by 3 and 1 multiplied by 3 is equal to. Friends, can you tell me 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 6 and 1 multiplied by 3 is equal to 3. So, we write 3 here. Now, we need to put in here. So, 1 by 2 will turn into 3 by 6. And then, 1 by 3 will turn into 2 by 6. So, now, we can easily find which is greater, which is lesser. This is greater. This is lesser. Thank you for watching me, Hans World. I'll see you next videos. If you like me, Hans World, please like and subscribe below. Bye.